Hello, this is Iron Bill, back again with another video. It's Monday, a work night. Uh, it's getting late, so I'm going to keep this short and sweet. Uh, tonight's video is once again on the 1250 loss sector for the day. This one's in the Cosmodrome. And uh, I don't know the exact area, it doesn't really matter. I, I did it the first time, and basically you have to set up for arc build and, and arc damage because it's a lot of hive, and you also have a couple of uh, solar witches that you have to deal with, uh, unstoppable champions, and a barrier champions, and that's pretty much it. it. This is a fairly simple one to do, but uh, the first time I ran through there, I had inadvertently switched up uh, some mods here, and I was trying to bring down a barrier knight, or at least stop it from regening, and it wasn't working, and I thought, what in the world is going on? So I came in and changed the setup. Once I made this change, it was pretty much straightforward. So I'm going to zoom on up to the point where we get into it. And it is Velus Labyrinth. And here are your modifiers right here. Uh, basically, we're going for uh, helmet is what it says. Now, I didn't get one, but it doesn't matter. I already have the helmet for this character anyway. I just wanted to run it. And basically, I want to run all the Lost Sectors on Legendary level because I'm, I'm certain there'll be a uh, triumph associated with that. So, uh, And before I go any further, I want to once again thank my uh, wonderful daughter, Erin, for the screen screen. And uh, if you're watching, Erin, love you so much. Uh, Morgan, if you're seeing this, love you too. Thinking about you a lot uh, here at Christmas time. Hope to see you guys soon. All right, so here we go. Uh, let's play it. I'm working on getting my color right here. I'm uh, I'm struggling. Uh, there there aren't a lot of settings for that uh, in OBS. All right, and so I'm just kind of looking at my settings here again. Um, lots of videos out on this again that that you can watch. People better than I. Mainly just keep to the right when you come in, and you cannot go wrong. I use the Icolos. Uh, I've seen loadouts where people use the Risk Runner, and the Risk Runner would be good, but I wanted to load up the Xenophage, because uh, I felt like I needed to keep range on the boss, because the boss, if, if you've done this one, you know the boss spawns in front of a portal. And every 25% damage you do, more enemies are going to come through that portal. And, I, you know, I, I didn't feel confident that I could go in and just burst damage him down with, say, a Lament or something like that. Uh, in addition, I, I'd still have to deal with the Solar uh, Witches. Alright, so now this is the, the place where you come to the first champion. Now the advantage of my Warmind Cell build here is I've, I have some cells that I can drop, and I kind of save it until the champion comes around the corner, because I want to start the damage cycle on that, and there he is. I want him to go for that, and then I'm going to pop him down. And that pretty much deals with him. By the way, this uh, is the Seraph Revolver, and I'm really liking it. I, I have a few builds that are actually pretty solid. Because, I mean, with, I've got a one-two punch of, of Seraph weapons here that are going to drop Warmind cells over and over and over. And as you're, you know, if you're a solo player like me, that can make all the difference. Now, I kind of bump with this. The one I have here doesn't have great range. And I should have just ran at these guys. And I got hooked up on the terrain a little bit. Started taking a lot of damage. I thought, I'm not dying here. See, I got hooked right there. And I'm just about dead. And it's time to get out. And you see all the arc flying at me. So you know, you really want to have that uh, concussion dampener, and you want to have the arc defense. So you need an arc chest piece for this one. Now once I actually get running at them, there's my war mine cell. I'm going to go ahead and pop that, just in case anything's within range of it. Now I've got a champion right up here at the top, but I want to start burst damaging him down. But I will have to be very certain that my submachine gun is ready to go. I've got to disrupt him. That dodge has been a little bit closer to him, might have been better off. Alright. Flip the submachine gun, war mine cell, pop it. As long as you keep in mind that those uh, thrall are going to come right after you, you kill the champion. You can't sit and. You, you know, it's like in baseball, you know, when you hit a ball, 
you don't watch the ball, you run. <laughs> you run your bases. And I guess that's what you kind of have to do here is you, you have to continue to run the bases. Now, I chose to take the witch down from here with Xenophage. This was the lowest risk option in one way. And that is I don't have to deal with the witch up close. But the problem is that draws the champion towards you, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because you want to isolate the champions anyway. Now, when I go up to the left here, right around that opening, I have to have my hand cannon ready because he's going to be right around that corner. And I've stopped him. Three, four, and I just about killed myself with this because if I'd been one shot less on that, I would have been in big trouble. <laughs> that was the danger of using it on the witch, is now I don't have any heavy. So I'm going to have to rely on my super and my submachine gun to take the rest of these enemies down. Now that, those are arc shields, I see them now. By the way, this was my first true run up to this point in time. I, I quit out earlier whenever I got to the first barrier night and, and realized that, or champion, and realized that I couldn't take it down with the setup that I had. Now, I could let him regenerate that shield pop again, and that would act as an explosive. But I'm really trying to do this as quickly as I can, so I'm just going to take him down. And on top of that, he won't be the only one. That was just a little too far back to do any real good, although it apparently took some of the ads down. I'm trying to get that heavy I saw draw, but that knight is just too much. I... And if I didn't have the concussive dampener on and the arc uh, resistance, I would have been dead right there. I, I'm holding on to my grenade and, and my melees, actually, because I don't really need them just yet. And best to save them for when I do. Okay, straight ahead is some heavy, and to my left is some heavy. If I get those two pieces, I'm in good shape. I got the one. That's seven. But I really want the other. I'm going to go ahead and reload that. Just in case I'm forced to use it. A longer range weapon here might be the better way to go. But to get unstoppable rounds, you have to have a hand cannon. There's just no getting around that. Okay, I'm going for my head. There's my war mine cell. And that did a lot of good right there. And I'm almost ready to start pounding out the boss, but then I see the witch. And I realize I have to deal with her. And there she is in the light. Two shots, finish her off. Don't want to waste my xenophage on him. Revolver is actually pretty good. If I were a better shot, it would work even better. Fortunately, I'm going to have to shoot through all those enemies to get to the War Mine Cell. The War Mine Cell is going to hurt the boss. And you heard the gate open some more. Now, I'm in a position with enough damage on him that I could close and finish him off. So I'm going to put a grenade on him to suppress him. Now, that grenade is going to do just enough to hold him. And that's it. That's all you have to do. And up I, and out I go. Pick it up. Unfortunately, I didn't get anything that, uh, exotic, but you know, I already have the helmet anyway for on this character, so it didn't make much difference. Uh, I, I did that in... Let's... Uh, have a look. Just under seven minutes. You know, I had a, com uh, a person comment on last night's video, and he uh, showed a video of, of his own run uh, using Trinity Ghoul, and, and which might actually work pretty well here. Um, he did a great job, and he did that in a run that took me something like almost nine minutes. He did it in under four. And, uh, you know, here I am. I think I said it was just under seven uh, there are people who could probably do it in three or four minutes. This is not a tough one, okay? But if you're like me, uh, you know, you're you're just a so-so player, 
still a very doable thing on the solo and you know you could run four or five of these an hour at the rate at which I do them and you know chances are within a couple of hours of play you'd, you'd probably get that exotic that you're after so I, I to totally encourage you to go for it and it, it's not you know I, with a little bit more practice I would speed up I, I, I'm sure I could get it under five minutes uh, once I know exactly where everything's going to spawn and exactly you know how to preemptively place shots and and when to use a xenophage and when not and that sort of stuff so uh, anyway go for it you can do it I promise you you can do it if I can do it you can do it so with all that said this is Iron Bill thanking you for watching and I'm signing off